it's time for uh, the uh, Wednesday, uh, Wednesday, February 13th, 2013 vlog. Uh, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's being done at uh, basically at two o'clock in the morning on uh, Thursday, February February 14th, uh, 2013. Uh, so that's where where we're at. We're starting to. Uh, my my day is starting to shift again. Where it's starting to come later and later. You'll see it will eventually flip over. And tomorrow is going to be another uh, two day vlog because I am not going to be home. I can tell you when I'm not going to be home that maybe I might do a follow me vlog because uh, it has to be over a couple of days anyway. So uh, we'll see what we do tomorrow. Anyway, uh, basically on to a. Uh, uh, the facts of the day. Uh, not much of it actually happened today, so I'm going to go over some of the stuff I maybe got yesterday and the day before. I have things sort of uh, set out in the list here. And I've been talking about uh, gay rights and spiritual poison. Uh, yes, gay, uh, uh, homosexual rights uh, and homosexuality is spiritual poison. But there is a lot of other things that are as well that are not necessarily talked about and uh, it, it requires a uh, discussion that's go, must, that has to go further in depth. It can't be done just in 10 minutes or, or, or 15 minutes or whatever. It does need a more in-depth conversation. And this is sort of just sort of the uh, off-the-top or off-the-cuff type of discussion. So that sort of leads into something larger that will be in Big Bang Theory Extras. And then eventually, if it's a large enough topic, it will go into the dock zone. Uh, and I'm working on that. I'm slowly getting all the backlog done up, you know. Uh, that's all getting done. I'm getting the playlist sort of straightened out. And you'll start seeing that stuff being pushed out uh, over the next coming week. Two weeks, everything should be pushed out properly. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, uh, the one that I, was ta I had talked about before, I, I had gone by, um, so sort of next up on the list, and that's... Uh, from a, uh, a YouTuber named Ali uh, Bongo, uh, and uh, she said this was had this one video called "Nice Guys Finish Last," uh, and it was about how this whole thing about uh, nice guy, uh, uh, this sort of perception that nice guys finish last, and the talk about how. Uh, other guys will sort of be sort of begrudgingly use this as a sta statement to say that oh I, I didn't I didn't quote unquote score because uh, nice guys finish last you know in other words uh, it goes it goes with uh, the guy's gripe uh, and it, you could have seen this on a couple, couple of pages uh, I think it's Superwoman vlog Superwoman vlogs I can't remember exactly it, 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 she's an Indian girl in Toronto. And she has a guy friend in her video, and a lot of the comments uh, in uh, the uh, for the video that she put up, particularly when she, when this guy is in it, is poor guy. He's landed in the friend zone, and this is kind of this is kind of uh, the guy's thinking, a guy's thinking, uh, I should say standard guy's thinking that uh, if a guy is a is a friend to a girl that the girl will never consider the guy as boyfriend material. And no guy ever wants to do that when, if, he, if he's interested in dating a girl, ever wants to be sort of in the friend zone. In other words, you can't take her out, you can't, you know, there is no, uh, there is no friends with benefits type of thing type, in, in terms of their discussion. And because of this, uh, is from the guy's perspective, the standard guy's perspective, it's better to be not the friend and the person you have that she has or is interested in dating and having the, those extra benefits. And they're assuming, <laughs> and this is the guy's assumption, that the end, the 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 date, the 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 evening or whatever they're going to do is going to end in some sort of reward for the bo for the boy. In other words, uh, most guys don't care about the girl's dress. They don't care about the flowers, the food, and so on and so forth. 
they uh, are uh, awaiting their reward at the end of all the girl's uh, desires. At the end of that, then the guy has his reward, uh, 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 assumingly. Right? And let's say this is the assumption that guys go in with. And they call this as well, a lot of people call this the game, where the guys try to get in and score on the girl, and yada, yada, yada. In other words, it becomes an entire, uh, dating is a Freudian uh, type of event or uh, period in life. Uh, if it is a period or it may become an entire lifestyle where if the person doesn't get married, then that's all there is is this sort of uh, random Freudian uh, uh, event uh, sprinkled throughout the week with uh, a number of different, uh, let's call them objects, of his desires. Because the guy, when he has his desires, doesn't view the person as a person, but views the person as an object. So that goes kind of without saying. And the thing is, is that... Uh, a lot of times, these quote-unquote good guys will state that they finish last, or nice guys will finish, or equate themselves with nice guys. Even though they're not really nice guys, they're still in there uh, for that sports objective, for that score, for uh, the uh, Freudian event. And for those of you who don't understand, understand what I'm talking about in terms of Freudian event, uh, Freudian, uh, Freud was a psychologist who believed... Uh, and wrote about in terms of his state, he's, he's sort of the father of psychology, and stated that uh, most of our motivations, most of our psychological thinking, uh, is sexually driven. So uh, anything you think about in life, everything you do, uh, the prime motivator in life is sex. Uh, that is the Freudian view. So, in, in other words, anything that is sexually oriented or sexually in any direction at all. Uh, if you don't want to get into those uh, explicit terms, uh, you, all you have to do is simply state that the issue is Freudian and that sexual sexual component should be understood if you understand Freud. Uh, <laughs> not that I agree with them, uh, but just uh, uh, he provides a way, a PG way of sort of uh, bringing up the topic without being overly explicit with it. So uh, that's what I when I say something is not Freudian or something is Freudian, that's what we're talking about. So that's sort of the P, it, it brings the sexual topics down to a PG level, uh, and I think it's that, that that this is that is sort of where it needs to go is that the Freudian topics are not necessarily real. Uh, again, going back to the animal societies, back to animal behavior. Um, our assumptions, the Freudian assumptions, uh, and these are now assumptions, because it has been shown that these Freudian assumptions of open relationships don't exist in the wild. That the wild and the animals have a social structure. And that their society and the relationships that occur within their society occur within the structure of that animal society. And this includes the wolves and several other species of animals that have monogamous relationships. In other words, they, and this is a scientific term, they have, they mate for life. And the consequences of going outside of this uh, social structure can be seen to be genetically disadvantaged, uh, uh, genetically uh, uh, harmful to the species uh, that that is that is sort of separate from it, and this kind of uh, sort of brings out the whole the whole uh, the whole issue of, of the uh, the chimpanzee type of uh, monkey called the bonobos, uh, uh, and they're a group of chimpanzee-like uh, apes uh, who are going extinct. And part of the problem is that they have a very Freudian lifestyle, and their Freudian uh, behavior is to such an extent that they no longer have the ability uh, to properly reproduce. In other words, 
they don't produce enough offspring, enough children, to carry the species forward. So the, the species, the bonobos, are on the are on the extinction list. But surprisingly, and this is or not not surprisingly, if you look at the genetic structure of the bonobos, what you will find is that the bonobos are highly inbred. And we see that we see this even in the royal family when you talk about inbreeding. The inbreeding causes a lot of genetic problems and a lot of social problems as well. Can be directly uh, directly linked to inbreeding. So you know, so in terms of the whole nice guy uh, stuff, um, it's true to a certain degree, but it's, at the same time, it's used by the player to. Uh, uh, identify himself as a nice person and not the player he, that he is. So, it sits in both directions, and that's really the, what i got to say for that on, on there, and maybe I'll talk to you guys maybe a little bit more tomorrow uh, about this whole topic. But anyways, that's the end for this, uh, that's the end of the vlog today. I will see you tomorrow.